Welcome to Keras in Motion, a machine learning video course that teaches, by example, using Keras, a high-level machine learning framework for Python under the MIT license. This course will walk you through various examples to find solutions to concrete machine learning projects. Because Keras enables rapid iteration of ideas, we'll be able to cover several real examples in depth. While this course focuses on programming and training models in Keras, we'll be following a general machine learning guideline to establish our problems and evaluate our solutions. I'm Dan Van Boxel, your tour guide. I'm an engineer and data scientist with 10 years of academic and professional data mining experience. You can find me on YouTube and Twitter at DanDoesData and on GitHub as DVBuntu. I've sampled many machine learning tools, but Keras brings a great balance of ease of use, speed, and flexibility. Suppose you wanted to create a self-driving car. Where do you even start? First, give yourself a few parameters. Maybe you have a webcam to view the road, along with some speed and acceleration information from the car. And to drive the car, you need to, at a minimum, steer and accelerate. Keras allows us to easily, yet responsibly, connect these outcomes with our data. We'll create a series of models to gradually drive the car more capably using limited data. Keras is open source and designed to be easy to use yet fast to compute. It achieves this by wrapping powerful backend libraries to do most of the computations. The available backends are TensorFlow and Theano. While Keras isn't as general as these libraries, it enables rapid prototyping with common and some not so common machine learning techniques. And because Keras sits on top of these libraries, it can work quickly on a graphics processing unit, GPU, or fall back to the CPU as needed. Having a GPU is strongly recommended for speed, but not required. Keras is already well respected in the machine learning community. Everyone from technical AI startups like Kama.ai, to enthusiast hackers, to students, and everyone in between is bringing their machine learning ideas to bear using Keras. Keras makes deep learning easy to implement. This allows you to focus on machine learning models and data without stressing about the implementation. The examples in this course serve as a survey of many common machine learning approaches. We'll start with some more fundamental statistics, investigating Alexander Hamilton's and Thomas Madison's authorship of the Federalist Papers. This is a small data set and most of the articles have clear authors, but a few texts are unknown. Using some extracted features, we'll use Keras to predict who wrote these articles. Next. We'll cross the pond to identify modern fonts rendering classic Shakespearean text. Given a few of the bard's words rendered in a unique font, Keras will help us identify which font is being used. And you may recognize a few lines from your favorite play. While the applications of recognizing fonts is debatable, this project demonstrates how to apply Keras to a non-trivial problem without being too overwhelming. Then we'll circle back to the development of a simplified self-driving car. Using some data adapted from DeepDrive.io from the video game Grand Theft Auto V, we'll put Keras into high gear. Finally, we'll explore what to do with limited labeled data by studying autoencoders, completing a circuit of machine learning techniques. This will use a popular benchmark dataset, MNIST Digit Classification. By learning general features of the data, Keras will help us save training on learning specific classes. Throughout this course, You'll encounter straightforward questions to check your comprehensions of key points. And at the end of most videos, there will also be a more involved, open-ended exercise. These are exploratory and not meant to have a single right answer. So get your computer warmed up. It's time to install and start using Keras.